Hello everyone, it is Toby here, back for a, another episode of Unauthor Blocks, and today we are over here at Remington's base, but I don't think this is where we're going to be working on this episode, just because I am going to be doing most of this project off camera, just because it is incredibly tedious, and we did do one episode on this project, um, the episode before last I believe, where we did this area over here, which is all complete, and so just off camera, I have been uh, working my way, building this ridge as far around as I can. So we've got a fair way round the base, which is pretty nice. Yeah, we've made it pretty... I think we've probably made it about halfway round. I think maybe a little bit more than halfway round, which is absolutely brilliant. So... Basically, I'm going to try and get some more stone and then off camera just keep building and plugging away at this. Uh, and then obviously gravel and sand it up. Thank you the, to the dolphin who gave me dolphin's grace there. But that's what we're going to be doing off camera. But as for today's episode, I haven't really got many plans. So I'm just going to... I just thought I'd start off an episode and work out what we're going to do. So I'm over at my, uh, my place here that we worked on this last episode and... I'm confused. <laughs> Someone has left ender chests absolutely everywhere in my base. Outside every single house, there is an ender chest. Where'd you come from? Come here. But, like, why? Why are there so many ender chests? Is it just my base? Or have other places got them as well? There's one there, there's that. There's ender chests absolutely everywhere. Why are there so many? So I, I don't know who's ender chest spammed everywhere. But I'm going to remove most of the ones outside my buildings here. Um, I'm going to keep one or two around just so people who come to my area can have an ender chest. But that's annoying. But yeah, why are there literally ender chests outside every building? That's really, really odd. I've cleaned up all the ender chests and armor stands. But apart from this one, this one's actually going to stay because I accidentally broke the tall grass there and it actually fits quite well. But yeah, I've just been laying out where the next building we're going to be doing in this area is going to go. And I think I'm going to have two more buildings in there and then just one big one here and yeah I think this shape is going to be quite good and I plan to have the similar sort of foundation with stone bricks uh, on the front side and or obviously on the back side as well but on the back side I'm thinking about having two like arches there with some like pipes coming and flowing into the river could be quite cool but I decided to have this one sort of a bit closer to the back of the river than this one is um, for no real reason other than I think it'll look cool and it means we can have another window peek there just make the town feel a lot more busy uh, and then um, my plan for this area once I actually finish the last three buildings off is like the last bit over here is to populate it with armor stands trolleys that sort of thing just to make it look like lived in and busy which I think could be quite cool a bit like a sort of model village scenario but, yeah, I'm really liking how this place is turning out. Um, yeah, it's turned out a lot better than I thought it would. And I'm really happy to keep working on this. And I'm not really sure where we're going to go once I finish working on it. Because we could just expand out the front here, which might be something that we do. But we could also start a new project entirely. So, I don't, I don't really know. But as for now... I'm going to keep working on this, start getting the foundations built up. You know the drill by now. Get the foundations on, get the top on, get the roof and that, and then do the details. This house is coming along pretty well. It's actually huge. Like, it's massive. And I'm planning to even more expand it to connect to the house that's going to go here. And I'm thinking that since it's so big, it's going to be some sort of, like, town hall, mayor's house sort of thing. And... Yeah, it's, it's a bit of an interesting one. It's definitely nowhere near done. But I'm sure when all the details go on, it'll look okay. 
Because at the minute it looks a bit funky in some places, but yeah, it's uh, builds. It's all about like the end product. So just because it's looking funky now as we're going along, we're, when we add in details like bushes and trapdoors, lanterns, that sort of thing, it'll start to look a bit better um, in the places. But that's how I'm really doing these builds. As I even if it looks a bit a bit whack and doesn't look perfect, I see it through to the end, and then once we get to the end, if it still looks uh, whack and funky and doesn't look great, then I will go back and change parts, bring parts out, but at least then we're working with a finished product rather than tearing it down halfway through. Because a big thing I used to do back in the day building is build the build, and if halfway through it wasn't looking great, tear it down start again. But now I've just started seeing the builds through to the end, and uh, then changing things after I finished it, little one by uh, changing things one by one, making sure that everything still doesn't like still looks good where it looks good, and then only working on the bits that look bad. So yeah, what we've got over this side is I added this little bridging because I'm thinking we'll have another walkway road down here that uh, has a bridge over here to where this walkway is a bit like how we've got here, these two builds connecting. Um, like so but yeah I've got the build coming sort of sp sp uh, spanning into the river really right up to the edge and I'm thinking about having uh, a little path come down here and another back door into the build just there which could be a cool use of space for that little bit of dead space there put some windows on the higher up bit this is our first I think three story building uh, apart from the tower of course but so that's pretty cool but yeah, this is going to be like a town hall, mayor's house sort of thing. I decided to leave a bit of an open balcony area here. And I'm not sure whether I necessarily like it. I might bring this down a bit. Like if I was... Let's just do some building on camera right now. So if I was to say bring this down to be like that instead. And keep the arches there. Yeah, then there's a bit more of an arch there. Yeah, I like that. I think I'm going to stick with that. So we bring you down to there. Like, yeah, that's that's pretty nice. And in fact, I might take this down altogether and make this a staircase up into the build itself. Um, not there, though. Let's bring it out by one. So stairs like this. Put some stone bricks like that. Uh, we put like a half slab there to get us up onto here. In fact, this this bit will be taken down a block now if we've got it to here. So yeah, let's let's give this a go. Let's have a let's have a look. Let's have a look. So if we were to take this down to this level, maybe this actually doesn't need to be there, so we can remove that. If we take it down to this level, that doesn't need to be there. Um, yeah, this could be like a, another little entrance into the house here. So we can have um, maybe some of those big double doors that I like to do in here. I don't have any stone stairs, but you know what I mean? Like, not like the, the one we did on the house over here. Um, yeah, another, another one of these doors we can put in just over here. Uh, yeah, I like that. And then we can just um, maybe have a window in there or something. Just another entrance into the build. And of course, up there is going to be like uh, roofed off uh, for the upstairs. But I, I think that could be a cool idea because obviously we're now going to have a road coming down here. So it seems like a bit of a good use of space to do that. Unless, in fact, since this is the town hall, why don't we make a bit of a grander staircase and have it come a bit more like, a bit more like this. So it's actually a bit more like of a proper entrance. And then this will be like the town hall entrance there. Yeah, I like that. I really, yeah, I think that works. So yeah, we have the town hall entrance here. Instead of having a um, small door to enter that town hall. So this is like the proper town hall entrance in here. Um, and it just literally goes into nowhere because through here there's the shrine. So it'll just be a door and then there'll be like another staircase up in here if there's space for that. 
I don't know, we'll work it out. We've finished up this build now, and it's actually looking really quite good. I'm very happy with how it fits in here. It's grown on me a lot as I've been building it. I mean, this side's still unfinished, obviously, because we don't have the other building yet to connect it to, but I decided instead of starting on the other building, I would just go ahead and completely finish uh, this sort of half of the building, which is going to be, I've decided, the town hall, and then the other side would be like the mayor's house or something, or maybe just another house. But yeah, it's gone, it's gone very well actually. So up the front here, we just have obviously the normal details we do, a bit of barreling. And then here we have the uh, shrine here. And then in the back corner over here, we just have one of our stacks of random barrels and crafting tables and stuff like that. You know how it is, that's what we do. And uh, if you come down here, we got again that secret little back entrance that actually currently goes to nowhere. But I've got a plan with this area down here in the future. But if we come back up here, we have got the first little room here, which is actually just a small uh, little residence here, little like sort of like peasant room, servant room, maybe like the um, like cleaner of the town hall, like the guard of the town hall or something. Uh, would live there, like just someone who patrols the uh, town hall, make sure everything runs smoothly, that sort of thing. They'd live in that area. And then the main entrance to the town hall is, as I said, here. So we've got uh, a sign obviously saying town hall, a nice bit of railing. And then we've got a bit of double doors. And this staircase, you'll have to forgive me, it's a bit of a weird one. Uh, it doesn't really make a whole lot of sense considering it just opens onto a stone wall there but it's the best I could do with the space provided so sometimes you just have to improvise so we'll just go in shut the doors behind us and there's actually a bit of space in here so it's not that bad but yeah you just go up the stairs and then you're in this small room which is just a bit of a filler room really uh, to hold the staircase got a bit of a table with a lamp and a crafting table and then through here is the first room of the town hall where we have a couple uh, benches it's sort of like the waiting room where you'd sit and wait to be seen by the mayor of the town if you wanted to inquire and that sort of thing so yeah we've also got a bit of a map here which obviously has our area the path down into the shopping area uh, a corner of the shopping area and then uh, some slime farms and stuff just you know sort of uh, outlining our area as opposed to everything else and then we've got an amethyst gem that we found somewhere down in like a um, mine shaft or something. I don't know. I just had it in the chest, so I thought I'd whack it in an item frame. Uh, and then in here is where we've got the uh, desk where the mayor would sit, and you'd come in and talk to him. He's got a uh, enchanted golden apple in an item frame, another amethyst gem on the desk, a really nice big uh, chair for the mayor, which I'm really happy with how this chair came out made of just a stair and some trap doors it actually looks really good and then we've got some smaller chairs here for anyone who wants to come in and have a meeting with the mayor uh, would come and sit and then we've got some double doors here that lead out to where the other building is going to go but yeah this build as i said has grown on me quite a bit it took quite a while for me to actually get it to a stage where I'm happy with it because as I said in the last clip it's probably the build I've struggled with most trying to make just because it was so awkward and there were a lot of big flat walls and spaces but just to give you a little look of how it all looks we've got this view here where you're coming out of the town towards the gate which looks all very nice and it fits in very well there and then you've got the other view coming in from here which uh, obviously it's not done but this whole area is looking quite nice and that view down there is looking good as well once there's another building there it should look really good and then if we go all the way round to the other side of the town where we have got this here we got this view of the build here and it fits in really nicely there sort of breaks up the skyline so you can't quite see straight down you sort of have to follow the river around to see around it looks really nice um, it definitely borders this build very well as it connects up the top and has a little gap there obviously to walk through to show they are separate buildings but yeah it just keeps the space efficiency and the snugness of all these builds together look really nice and makes everything feel like they're not just individual builds but a whole town build which i really like and then yeah this is a bit of a flat wall here which i've tried to break up by adding a bit of depth uh, depth in and some andesite obviously to add a bit of texture variation but it doesn't look too bad this is probably the blandest bit of the whole 
build and I broke that tall grass. I need to get some more. But yeah, it's not too bad. Like this bit's quite flat as well, but with the door in and the wall up there, it doesn't look awful. Like the whole point is big flat walls don't necessarily matter as long as you can uh, incorporate some texture variation and uh, some depth and stuff and have a bit of interesting eye, ca eye drawing stuff. So that's not the boring bit you'd be looking at. You'd be wondering what that door goes to, the windows, that sort of thing. You wouldn't be drawn to the big, big flat wall, basically. Then as you come further down here, you've got obviously uh, the railing from the entrance of the town hall, uh, the overhanging top bit, and it, it doesn't look too bad. Uh, this wall is definitely the most boring, but it's you can definitely tell it's a much grander building than all the other buildings in the area, just because it is like three stories at this side. And then, of course, we've got a little bridge, which may stay, may change. I'm not 100% sold on it, just because it is a little bland, but we'll leave it for now, because all it does is connect these two paths over the river and uh, leads up to the little watchtower area up here. But, yeah... I'm very happy with how this build's turned out, and obviously you get another view from up on the wall over here, looking up there, and that is looking good, because obviously all of that stuff's done down there, so it just looks very lived in, very nice. The only thing is, uh, which I'm not a huge fan of, is the fact that this big flat roof and this big flat roof are opposite each other, but it's not that distracting, as long as you're not seeing it from above, which a lot of people will do flying in, but if you look from this town from above, it's just a lot of roofs, which you would expect. So it's all about the perspective from down here. And from down here, it doesn't look bad at all. It it looks fine. They're different enough walls, so it doesn't look like it's just a mirrored thing. And yeah, it's not bad at all. And as I said, looking up this, this view here all the way up to the watermill looks very nice in my opinion. But anyway, yeah, the next thing we've got to do is start laying out the foundations for the next build. I don't know whether I'm going to completely finish this build in this episode. Or work on a different project just to mix things up a bit. But I do really want to get this done. Because obviously once this builds in. We can add in the final details. And then this whole town area will be done. And we can move on to more projects in the future. Which will be absolutely amazing. And then this town will be solidified. But yeah I don't know. I'm going to start uh, getting some work done. And we'll see how it goes. So the foundation has been laid out for... Uh, the other portion of this house here to go perfectly in this space here. So this is going to be like the actual living quarters for the mayor. So it's going to be quite a nice house. It's not going to be massive because obviously it's connected to the town hall. And we're actually quite limited for space in this corner here. And I may make like another big manor house somewhere, maybe like out here. But that would be outside the wall so it wouldn't make a huge amount of sense. So yeah, um... This is the snug sort of shape. It's sort of like a T-shaped house, a very loose T-shaped house where um, this connects and it obviously goes down to the waterfront and everything. And then there's quite a bit of green space left over, which I'm going to do similarly to the corner back over there, um, which is like got some trees and some berry bushes, some pumpkins, that sort of thing. Just a bit of a bit of a wild uh, slope there. Like this, this corner here. Do something a bit more like this over on that slope once the house has built, been built up. And uh, just fill the space with like meaningless just decoration really. So it doesn't really serve a purpose. It's not like a build. But it just fills the green space. But we'll see what we're going to do with that space as we continue. But yeah, this pig is on an absolute mad one. Yes, looking at you. But something was wandering about outside the uh, town gates, and it was... Where's he gone? Here. It was a skeleton horse. So I captured him up, and now he's just sort of wandering inside the town until we build some sort of a demonic bone stable for him, which could be really cool to do. Uh, I don't know where we would do that, because it definitely doesn't fit with the style of the town we've got going on here. But... Yeah, that's pretty cool. So today we've got loads done, actually. We built this massive build here and started work on the next foundation. But it is unfortunate to say that that is all we've got time for today. Next episode, we will obviously come back here and finish this build and also get some other really fun stuff done, decorating the town, getting the town completely finished up in the next episode, which is lovely. And then we can move on to another project, which should be absolutely incredible. 
So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Unorthodox. Remember, if you haven't already, click that like button and subscribe to the channel for more content like this and many more different Minecraft series and other games to come in the future. There's a little teaser for you. So thank you guys for watching once again, and I will see you in the next episode. I've been Toby, and goodbye.